Hello everybody, my name is O'Neill Gerald, and I have a problem with vocal range videos. It's not all the way a problem, it's always nice to know how high a person can sing or how low a person can sing. But vocal range videos, vocal analyses, not even just videos on YouTube, but even the music we listen to has conditioned us to think of vocal range as the most important thing that a singer can do. And if someone has a vast vocal range, we're made to believe that that person is a better singer when that's not necessarily the case. So I'm gonna give you five reasons why vocal range does not matter. My first concept is the notion of usable vocal range. In a lot of vocal range videos that I've seen, you will hear a lot of singers screaming that got surprised with a pet dog or something for a birthday party. And when they scream at the top of their lungs, you see like a C7 or you'll see like an E flat 6. In reality, a lot of those notes a singer isn't actually going to use in a singing situation. A singer's true vocal range is distinguished on what they are able to do in a singing situation, whether that be in the studio or whether that be live. Just because a singer can hit a C7 when they exclaim doesn't mean that when they are aiming and they're trying to get the note that they can hit it and not just hit it, but hit it in a healthy way. My second point is the concept of a singer's sweet spot or their tessitura. A singer's sweet spot or their tessitura is where they sound the best, where their voice begins to blossom and starts to really feel like, okay, that person's in a really good place, not just in terms of sound, but in comfort as well. Where a person sounds their best only comes as a part of their innate voice. It's not something that I can say, okay, I wanna sing like Chris Brown, and so I wanna have Chris Brown's sweet spot, so I'm gonna sing like Chris Brown. Chris Brown has his own sweet spots and I have mine and I as a singer am gonna have to find my own sweet spots. Ariana Grande's sweet spots or the places where her voice blossoms the most just happen to be in the money notes, the places where there are notes that are just extremely high. Some high notes are more accessible for others. It's not fair that a lot of people who naturally access higher notes are esteemed higher than people who access lower notes, like me. Reason number three, a good singer or songwriter can make the most out of less. Great example, Adele's Hello features her peaking in the chorus at a B flat four. Hello from the other side. <laughs> She sounds absolutely amazing. Her voice is full of body. It's a fully girded and well sung note, but it's only a B flat four. She attained a very well rounded note in just the fourth octave. And she sounded great. The song was number one for how long? And it was totally unique for her. Now, there are some notes that are just not necessary. For example, if you think of Demi Lovato's Stone Cold, there's an A flat five at the end of it in the studio version that actually wasn't really needed. And it wasn't actually hit in the healthiest of ways. And thus I say, a singer with a good two octaves of connected range can easily outsing a four octave singer. And that brings me to my fourth point. One of the biggest goals that a singer should have is to have a connected vocal range. If you're going to have four octaves of range, you're going to want that from your chest range, going all the way up past your break, your passaggio, and into like your head range, you want all of the four octaves to be connected from register to register. You're able to sing with strength and with diminution in any part of your range. And the reason to me having a high note is not as impressive as having a connected vocal range is because having a connected vocal range requires work, it requires training, it requires diligence that may not necessarily be needed for someone else to get a high note like I was saying before. And the goal of having a connected vocal range is much more attainable than getting that high note that Aria Ariana Grande got because your voice may not be built for Ariana Grande notes. My voice is not built for Ariana Grande notes. And number five, can these singers actually hit these notes live on a back-to-back -back basis? One of, if not my favorite vocalist, Beyonce, she gets respect from me because she uses her voice in a way in which she caps her range. Notes that are outside of her being able to hit them on a consistent basis to belt them healthily while being on a world tour, she won't sing those notes live. Maybe she'll sing like one um, but she won't sing it back to back to back to back to back because she knows that she's not invincible and even in capping her range she still has a lot of usable range that is still very interesting and very accessible to her that's not the case for every single pop singer that's out there and that has a vocal range video made about them and you get singers
singers that are very much pressured by producers to sing notes that are way out of their range or out of what should be their capped range and then they embarrass themselves live because they can't do it and actually leave in the comments a time when you heard a singer go for a note that was not in the range vocal range doesn't matter it doesn't matter how high you can sing it doesn't matter how low you can sing it's all about using your voice the way that it's meant to be used but let's throw out all of these vocal analyses and uh, vocal range videos I lied let's not throw out those videos those videos are extremely entertaining and very interesting however we need to throw out the comparison we need to throw out the unachievable and unattainable goals and we need to embrace the invitation to discover our voices on a healthy basis and also on a fun basis you know singing because we love to sing and because we want to express ourselves you know if this is your first time on this channel this is the place where we think deeply so that we create art that changes the world so I encourage you to subscribe stay a while go be the singer that you want to be I'll see you guys later bye